From here you're like it's good 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 and then suddenly you go like this. Okay. But instead you should go like good 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 here. Mm -hmm. Push your elbows down and back more. So oh. Make a bigger chest. You mean chest up more? Yeah. Instead of chest collapsing and mm -hmm. elbows losing their tension, mm -hmm. when you go here instead of this way, mm -hmm. think in your mind bigger chest and grow. Oh. And then sink a little mm -hmm. like that. So, you kind of do this, mm -hmm. you go here, and then suddenly you go like this, oh. and then you go up yeah. with the legs. Instead, instead of going like this, mm -hmm. so here, keep it higher, shoulders more back, and then touch here, yeah. and then that's when you can sink, mm -hmm. leg drop. Okay. Instead, like, you do this too much. Mm. Yeah. Instead it should be... With, no, with better form, I think that means that way it's easy for you. Okay. But because it's not that heavy, mm -hmm. really for you, like that's why you can do this style. Okay. Like me, like when I do reps, I can do that. Like you know, I get tired. Yeah. Sometimes you see me like purposely do uh -huh. this. I'm just tired back here, and then I can go like that. But if I ever try one RM and I try that, it doesn't move at all. Mm -hmm. Like I go like this. <laughs> yeah, just straight right up. Yeah. 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 So. You change your form a little bit. Yeah, you could probably I'll try. try. Yeah, not right away though. Mm -hmm. so sorry, I sound I yeah. sound extra okay. stupid right yeah. now. The mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. But when I bench, I want to make it super tight. So enough that I have to go like this. Like oh, okay. That means like. Like everything stuck up here. Mm -hmm. so I can't push air here. Only on bench. Squat and deadlift, you want to be able to put air here. Oh. But on bench, it's the only lift. You want to keep all your air in up here. So you're going to breathe here. Yeah, I brace up here, not here. Yeah, bench, you don't brace down here because this part should be just tight and, you know, arched, right? Mm -hmm. So when I breathe, I mean, look at the difference in my chest size. So this is nothing. Extra cage, yeah. yeah, as big as possible. Wrist wraps also are very important. Mm -hmm. A lot of people put yeah. wrist wraps incorrectly. Yeah. So incorrect mm -hmm. is down here, too low. Too low. Yeah. So even if I make it super tight, yeah. it's not really protecting my wrist. I can move it so much. Yeah. Instead, it should be around the joint. Yeah. So first, make not a straight fist, a little bit cocked fist like this. Oh, bend the wrist. A little bit. A little bit. Like when you punch somebody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't punch anybody. <laughs> <laughs> if I punch somebody, uh -huh, yeah, if. I wouldn't punch them straight. Uh -huh. Or like this, you're going to hurt, right? Yeah, you of course. When you punch someone, you actually angle a little bit. Because mm -hmm. then the most force will yeah. transfer. So that's what I do when I set up. Mm. My rich wraps this as well. This is a really good tip. <laughs> yeah. To so cock it a little bit. Yeah. This is important. Super tight on the first wrap. Yeah. Okay. Super tight. And then usually I grab it here. Oh. Yeah. And look, oh. I can't bend it back. Only this much. You like cast. Yeah. So even when I bench with the bar here, it's stuck. Oh. The more power transfer. Okay. Same thing here. Cock my wrist a little bit. Mm -hmm. Super tight around there. And I test it. Can I move it? I can only move a little bit. That's good. Okay. And of course, for competition, you have to take this part out. Oh, yeah. Okay. But in the gym, mm -hmm. I don't do that either. Uh, for me, mm -hmm. I keep my feet far forward, right? Compared mm -hmm. to most people. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna make it so my butt is closer to the bench, not farther away from the bench. Oh. So if I wear yeah. heels, my butt is now gonna be higher. So when I do this, my butt has higher chance of coming up. But people have different styles. The people who like heels yeah. are the people who tuck their feet 
back more. Oh. Get it? Because when you tuck back, yeah. if I had a heel, this would be touching the ground. Mm. And if I took it really far back, yeah. know, ankle mobility becomes an issue too. Mm -hmm. So when they when they leg drive, the heel will come off the floor okay. if they didn't wear heels. But people who bench like this, more forward, yeah. they usually they don't wear heels. Okay. So my style, this is much better for me. Okay. What is the reason for flexing your glute? Uh, so usually well first, normal people think glute does not work at the bench. Oh, they do a lot. Yeah. It's more for stability, mm -hmm. so that the transfer of power from yeah. your legs, and also so that your butt doesn't go up. Because mm -hmm. if your glutes are flexed, they get bigger. Yeah. Right? And so you'll have more contact with your butt on the bench. Oh. But if your glutes are relaxed, they're a little smaller. So more chance your butt will come off of the bench. So I try to, first it's for stability, so I can open my legs, get strong leg drive. And second, so when I push, it goes more this way with a bigger butt. Mm -hmm. But if I don't flex my glutes, I'll probably push up suddenly and my butt will come off the bench. So my glutes are always engaged yeah. and my quad will, will move. So at the bottom of the bench, my quads will move forward a little bit, yeah. relax a little. Yeah. My glutes are flexed, and then I'll push mm -hmm. with my quads and my feet, my body this way. All right, first set up around chin here. Depends on your arch. Mm -hmm. If you have a big arch, you want to go closer to the bar. Okay. If you have a small arch or no arch, you probably want to be a little bit farther. Okay. Right, so. Grab onto something. I mean, every bench has something here because yeah. it has to be. Yeah. So that's there. Even here is important. Like you don't want to just be flat like this mm -hmm. setting up. You want to point your elbows toward the wall mm -hmm. because when I go up like this, I want my elbows to face this way. Okay. That way I could retract my scapula more. So over here, point my elbows forward. Even this is helpful. You can start lower yeah. and then as you point your elbows forward on your hip thrust, you can push yourself back into place. So small breath, push, but keep your elbows down. Don't use your trap muscles at all. You should be relaxed. You should be pulling down. All right, then that's when you probably want to grab the bar. My grip is right on the maximum. This, this style grip, you should probably use uh, uh, wrist reps. Okay. Okay. And here, always be bending the bar. Okay. So don't just relax. You should be putting pressure on the bar this mm -hmm. way. Then, of course, take a little breath here. Big hip thrust. Bigger is better. So, it's not like here. You want to go as high as possible mm -hmm. to get on your traps. Yeah. I'm still pressing the bar. Okay. Then as when I get as high as I can go, you want to take a breath and put your feet down. So first I'll show how to do it bad. Okay. This is bad. I lost oh. my arch. Oh, oh I okay. Yeah. Better is big breath, one leg down at a time, so that you can keep your arch. So my arch is still here. Huh? Yeah. And at this point, you gotta find your feet. So, some people have different styles. Mm -hmm. Some people will put their feet all the way back. Yeah. Some people will put it just here. For my style, I use a lot of leg drive. Mm -hmm. So, first, I like to create big arch, mm -hmm. big chest, put my butt down, and then I make my feet very wide and forward. Okay. So, around here. Then I'll point my feet outward. Okay. I'll get a good grip on the ground. And then, still keeping my arch. This is where I take a big breath. So I go. And then I put my butt in the air. Mm -hmm. So, I'll purpose say I do a hip thrust, glutes flex, and I go. Butt in the air, glutes flex, on rack. And this is very important from here. Yep. When you go forward, you gotta retract your scapula. Wow. So, notice the difference. Yeah. I can see this first. My elbows are locked. Mm -hmm. Right? Wow. 
that's like this much range of yeah. difference. And when I pull it out more, it gets even bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Scapular <sighs> projection. Look at the difference here. Yeah. This. But though. Like, oh. It's hard to talk when I'm yeah. doing it. <laughs> uh, that's because, well, look at this. Yeah. I want the bench. Mm -hmm. If I'm here, mm -hmm. look at my butt. Yeah. Very easy to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But look what happens, same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can see the difference. Yeah, I can't raise my butt very easily. So that way I can focus on leg drive okay. instead of my butt coming okay. up. And also you said, find your fit. Yeah. What does it exactly mean? Good question. Finding your feet is like what I did just now. Yeah. If when you find your feet, like, let's just pretend I have the bar here. Mm -hmm. If I'm like here, yep. it's very easy for me to raise my butt. Yeah. See? My yeah. butt is coming off the mm -hmm. bench. Finding my feet means find a position that I can push off my legs, but my butt cannot come up easily. Oh, that's exactly fine. Yeah, yeah, finding your feet means a position where you can push very hard. Uh -huh. Not super hard, but hard enough with your legs. But your butt will only come up a little. Not because, like here, like my butt is touching a lot. Yeah. My butt is coming up right now, right? But it's still touching. So I want to find where my feet. I can do this, but I'm not cheating. Like my butt is still touching because I'm flexing the glutes. So my butt, my butt, because you know it's soft, is going in the bench, and then when I flex my quads, it comes up a little. But because of the fat on the butt, it's yeah. still touching the bench. So finding my feet means finding the best leg drive position without cheating. Okay. So if I go here, like for example, when I put my feet here, mm -hmm. very close, mm -hmm. it's still very easy for me to lift my butt. Oh, I see. But if I go like this, it's very hard for yeah. me to lift my butt because there's no space. So I want to find maximum width okay so i can go push and the butt still touching thank you oh sorry. <laughs>